Like, think about that. You not dealing with a whole bunch of females, you winning. I'm actually losing in a sense because I got to spread my time up. If I choose to. Sometimes I choose not to. Sometimes I choose to not deal with females. I have that option. You know, and I grant it. I understand a lot of guys want it want that option a lot of guys don't even have the option like guys you know how frequently i turn down sex like i have the option to because i work my i worked on myself enough to where i have the option and it's the thing a lot of y'all not putting in the work on yourself but you want an option like y'all want bad females you want nice looking females you want females that doing some got her own shit but you're not even working on yourself. How can you demand the highest of the female tiers? How could you demand that you ain't putting in no work on yourself? How can you demand something like that? How can you demand to drive the hottest car, yet you ain't putting in no work at your job to get a promotion? You ain't trying to take on a second job, yet you demand, man, I, I should have nicer things than this. I should have nicer things now. I want to have two phones. I want to have the hottest new phone. You granted, granted. I don't want you to get lost in material things, man. I don't, guys, don't get lost in the material things. You don't have to keep up with the Joneses. You feel me? You don't got to do that. It's ways to get through life without trying to keep up with everybody else and still be killing it. It still be killing it. But to stay on top of it, man, the end game is so important, man. Your number one goal. Like, you got to have a goal that outdo all the rest of your goals. You got to have a number one goal. Your number one goal. You know how I say my number one female, my number two and number three? But I always have a number one. No matter what I do in life, I always have a number one. My number one can be my only one. You need to have a goal though that it's a never ending goal. It have something to do with your spirit, your happiness, the inside. You feel me? Think about that, man. Don't get lost in some of these videos I'm posting because a lot of this stuff is for entertainment. Because I like to entertain yet still give knowledge. So don't get confused with the entertaining part and miss the message. A lot of y'all miss the messages a lot of time. And that's one thing I tell you all the time. A lot of young men, including myself at one point, we, we don't pay attention to details and we don't listen. We don't listen. Guys, I tell you this, at work, we get a lot of stuff repeated to us all the time. One time this dude came and repeated me a job that I already know how to do. And the guy that I trained, I trained another guy on the job, and he was like, and we, he, we were both listening to this guy telling me how to do this job. I didn't interrupt him. This guy telling me how to, this guy giving me direction on a job that I already know how to do. And, 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 and one of the older guys I call, you know, one of the older men I always talk about, y'all hear me talk about a lot at work. He said, wow, I like what you did. He said, you trained me on that job, yet you just listened to him like you never heard anything he said before, like you didn't know how to do that job. He said, I, I see what you're doing. I like that. I listened to somebody tell me how to do a job that I already know how to do. Because guess what? We all miss some sometimes, and we all forget things. So instead of interrupting him and saying, yo, bro, I already know how to do that. I just, I just, mm-hmm. Hush, you feel me? Sometimes you need to be quiet to listen. Cause somebody can say something that you missed. So I mm, zip it up. This guy telling me how this do the job. Okay, hmm. I, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. When he walked away, dude said, man, you already know how to do that job. You trained me on that job. But you just listen to him like it. Sometimes you just need to let people talk. Sometimes you need to just let people speak. Say what they need to say it might help you in the long run because when people give out information a lot of people like that they feel good and they feel like they helping but if they feel like they can't help you a lot of people won't even come and fuck with you because they feel like they can't help you they feel like oh that motherfucker think he know it all ain't no even sense of me telling him how to do this no just hush 
when you get around older men, bro, just listen sometimes. I know it might. Bro, we, listen, I get it. Some of them motherfuckers corny as hell, and they say the dumbest shit, the lamest shit. And they be like, bro, look at this old ass dude, man. I, bro, believe me, I get it. I be listening to some old dudes, man. I be like, man, this motherfucker, man, irritating the fuck out of me. What is he talking about? This old ass dude, man, he don't know. He thinks shit like, it ain't like how he was living back. You know what I'm saying? It's a different time. A lot of old men, they're going to try to talk about how things was when they was here. And how we all, we, we the young dumb. Just listen. Because sometimes he might say something that might actually benefit you. And by him just talking, he might give you some knowledge that you can give to somebody else. My, the people I work with do it all the time. Sometimes they say shit that I be like, bruh, it's not even like that no more. Like nobody, it's not even like that no more. You feel me? I just listen though. Because I know my end game. I have an end game. My end game is to help kids. Now, what do I do in between my end game? That's up to me. Sometimes I go out. Sometimes I choose to hang out with females. Sometimes I choose to hang out with guys. But my end game is the same. My end game never change. My end game never change. Y'all see me make these videos right now. This is in between. And, and then at the same time, you say, I'm, I know there's some kids watching. Guys, you're always being watched by a younger a younger person a younger person is always watching you for y'all that don't think y'all are role models you fucking wrong you wrong bro you are a role model to somebody at every second of the day every second of the day you are being watched whether you believe it or not whether you know it or not somebody is watching you and they watching to see should i pattern in this guy do i look up to this guy and do I want to be like this guy or her? You are always being watched. Somebody is watching you. And one day somebody going to say, yo, you know what? I've been watching you for a long time, man. Your routine, your routine hasn't changed. I like that. Keep it up. You know, I hope my son or uh, my daughter grow up to be like you. It happens. But you got to put in the work. You got to put in the work, yo. Your end game should thrive you and push you to put in the work to be successful it's more to life than fucking i promise you see it don't act like you want to see it don't do that rhythm shot ah okay damn oh he little fade let's go Oh shit. Alright, we ain't got that yet. We ain't got the phase yet. Okay. We ain't got the phase yet. That ain't still a 60? Oh my goodness. Is it bad that I don't know what a rhythm shot is? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I don't even know what a rhythm shot is, but I know how to do it. You just basically hold turbo and hold the analog stick. You basically shoot with the analog stick. Now, what is the rhythm shot? <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> I just hear a lot of people talk about it. So it must be something powerful. What is the rhythm shot now that you that, that he said that? What is the rhythm shot actually? Like what is the purpose of a rhythm shot? Can he make that? That's too deep for him. Okay, he hitting that. To create separation. Okay. So it's basically just a, a hop, jump shot. Yeah, does it have a, a, a bigger green window? That's a good question. Damn, that's not a good shot. They say shooting with the right stick better than the button. <laughs> rhythm shot that's a rhythm shot right there he said to add tempo into the shot so it's a smoother shooting motion apparently easier to, easier to shoot than with square mm. okay 
It's better than six seven. Oh, he talking. He said you pull down on the right stick and push up when you're ready to shoot. Hmm. I just be holding down. I haven't did the push up part, but I know just holding down you actually shoot it as well. So I guess you could put it in any direction long as you holding it. Basically, most people use it for the shooting. I mean the dribbling. I use the rhythm shots for dribble moves, create different separation. I really don't ever shoot off it. <clears throat> Let's go. 